Hello, good morning. You are welcome. I am Baba Tunde Shola and I'm a student of Federal Polytechnic Ida Kogi State, a discipline of metallurgical materials engineering. I'm an entrepreneur, a graphic designer, a kingdompreneur, a life coach. So I want to be discussing or I want to be teaching how you can be an influencer in the digital world in brackets social media so you just have to follow me closely as i begin to teach the world is going digitalized and there is need for us to fit into this reality years ago if you have an outlet and if you put it on the road following the ethics of marketing that's what to produce how to produce and whom to produce for you find out that you will make more sales but now in this 21st century you find out that everything now can be digitalized everything now can be digitalized recently if you would remember davido had a program in london an event close to a million people were there present but people that streamed online they were about a billion people why because the online world is now the most connected world now is now the most connected um, program that one can be able to do things i'll just give you like five points and i'll be explaining them how can you market yourself digitally number one your brand must be presentable that is your brand your brand is something like who you represent and what you stand for your brand must be presentable use a good profile picture on any social media handle that you are use a good profile picture particularly a studio picture write what you do on your bio you find out that on facebook you find out that so many people would actually do it's it's something it's something they don't use their real name like myself i be about Shala. So I may go there and use its its shoulder. It doesn't speak well of me. So I said use a good profile picture, particularly a studio picture. Write what you do. Okay. I am Baba Tunde Shola. I'm a student of this. I'm a graphic designer. I help um, people come out of depression and stuff like that. A reality coach and stuff like that. Right? So the next point is be determined that you are ready to make money out of the online world everything is possible both on the online world they have social media influencers that are making a huge lot out of the online world the thing is that you should just know your niche when you know your niche okay i'm already saying my third point let's just go to my third my third point find your niche and build on it find your niche and build on it this you must ensure that you know your safest atmosphere convenient posture of which you can be showing up on the social media space you should know your conducive atmosphere of which you can be showing up on the social media space maybe storytelling you can be good in storytelling diary keeping helping people come out of depression you know how you can post so many things on social media it takes time for you to build a very large network but you must know your niche when you know your niche followed by consistency consistent be consistent on your niche lend your voice on your niche going to my fourth point be disciplined to be showing up every day be disciplined to be showing up every day when i say showing up every day i do not necessarily mean monday to friday it still boils down to know your niche maybe in a whole week you can show up on the social media for three days whereby you can come and lend your voice and consistently doing that you find out that you will start dragging people to your space so let me just explain this many of us our brand are not presentable at all our brand are not presentable if you come on our social media space we see how poor we structure who we are what we do and all of those things like i said earlier many of us our brand are not presentable one of the ethics of marketing on the online space is actually maximizing your profile to attract valuable based customer like i said you must have a good profile picture particularly a studio picture also tell us 
who you are and what you do and why we must patronize you okay you must tell us who who you are what you do and why we must patronize you because a lot of things are still going wrong on this online space people are using it to scam people it is not a re enough reason to tell me who you are and what you do give me criteria why i must patronize you i need to see example i need to see live testimony from your customers and all of those things number two like my other point you must be determined that you are ready to make money out of the online world i have a coach mr nigi amuda he's a value oriented personality recently on the platform he would always tell us don't do free design like i said the next point be determined that you want to make money out of this online space so he will tell us we his mentees and people that he's bringing up don't do free design you make sure you collect money from your people who want to do design from you let me just read what i have here you must be determined that you are ready to make money out of the online world our coach mr nii amuda is a value oriented personality recently on the platform he would always tell us don't do free design yes it is true that you when you start out at least you must do free things but when time is going make sure that you collect money from this your customers it is not everything every time that you do free design like number three which i said find your niche and build on it so what then is a niche a niche is a position particularly well situated for a person who occupies it a niche is a position particularly well situated to the person who occupies it like myself i'm good at storytelling and i'm a good writer i write to catch the audience feelings i write to build on their feelings and their emotions so when you find your niche you will be able to know that you can be able to lend your voice on that particular space now i'll be digressing a little bit from the graphic design world i want to tell you a story it's about a linkedin app i'm on linkedin also i'll be telling you my social media handle that i am in so after this um, podcast you just have to follow me on this various um platform okay let me tell you a story i got to know about linkedin from my school from this organization enactos federal polytechnic ida kogi state so i was a member of enactos before i graduated recently and then september um last year 2021 i came back from my series which was students industrial work experience cream then i just rounded up um, a graphic design class so the team of enactors at that time told us that we should have a linkedin account we should have a linkedin account so i got my linkedin account i joined linkedin so i do not understand what was happening there i was posting different things <laughs> particularly i was posting church stuffs pastors church how you can get fire and all of those things but i do not understand the algorithm of how linkedin work so i had to stay back watch how people post on linkedin and i found out okay you can actually lend your voice on this linkedin without you posting things that are not because linkedin is one of a fastest growing entrepreneurial world you get to meet so many people different people people that on a normal day you will not be able to meet them you can meet them on linkedin so that was how i got to know linkedin i was start lending my voice and stuff like that i even had to post a copy and paste and um, um, a write-up of someone who was telling his life story and when i did that before the day runs out I had so many people following me, my connection and my followers. Let me tell you a story also about my mentor there. You should know Emmanuel Unduka is a student of Federal University of Technology Uiri. So at this time, Emmanuel knew his niche. He would always come there, post, particularly he was keeping a diary. So for everything that happened in a day, he's going to keep his diary there. He's going to say okay today i did this i did that and he was always talking about this entrepreneur and a wealthy man sir tony emelu the chairman of uba bank 
and herald company so he was talking about the man he would tag the man in the post appreciate the man say he would want to be like the man one day so the man got to know him and the man told him okay you'll be my mentee so now he's actually a mentee of the chairman of uba company that's actually a good news it's very it's a good news so let's move to the point four be disciplined to show up every day on the social media space when i say every day like i've said it is not particularly you must show up the seven days during the week choose the safest niche you can take three days out of the seven days you can take two days out of the seven days but make sure you are disciplined in showing up on the social media space make sure you are disciplined lastly sell yourself not because of the likes and comments you will get when you put up a content a lot of people when they post something or when they put up something on the social media space every now and then they'll be coming to check if people are actually engaging their comments engaging their their stuff but they find out that it's not actually like that and they feel bad before you have a drum of water you must start from its lowest states so people are actually recognizing you people are seeing what you are doing don't give up keep it up keep it up showing up every day be consistent lend your voice and do it smartly always play along with people emotion always play along with your things must be catchy your write-up must be catchy so when people will see ah, who is this young man who is this young lady they'll go first be your profile picture and when your profile picture is showing it's young k it's young this it's kelly black and all of those things ah, they'll say ah, i thought this is coming from a well responsible person but this is not it his profile picture her profile picture does not speak well of him so you should show up not because of the likes and comments or not because of the money you will make but because the impact you want to make on people it is the impact one you want to make on people in fact when you make a post shut your eyes to the likes and comments it will do you help to stay consistently it will do you help to stay consistently so let me be giving you some of my quotes everyone has a problem but they are just few problem solvers strive to be a problem solver in the capacity you lead this is another of my posts you will find it very funny and it's true are you surprised to see yourself having deep voice when you wake sleep again and you will see yourself having gray hair so are you surprised when you wake you see yourself having deep voice of course it happens to everyone so when you wake up from sleep you find out that your voice will take time before it's going to normalize so sleep again you find out that you're having gray hair so in general in clearer terms utilize your time time waits for no man you are young yes you can be an influencer utilize your time so this is another quote coming from nelson mandela of blessed memory i learned that courage is not the absence of fear but the triumph over it so you have courage it's not because there is no fear in you of course everyone has a measure of fear in him or her but it is the triumph over it so what you do to overcome that fear is the courage the risks you take to do something is the courage so when i would want to join that graphic design class it was five thousand and i was not having money but i wanted to join who would i ask of money so i remember i asked a young okay i talked to my coach he was like he wants me to join this class but i told him coach i don't have money he said i should look for any way to join the class so i look i said who am i going to ask now i don't want to borrow money from someone but i had to take the risk because i know that in the nearest future when i've learned this graphic design it's going to pay me so now i'm actually a graphic designer and i've learned it so you see that take both steps to see that you're actually doing things take both steps to know that you are actually doing things so i would also be saying lending your voice on the social media space it's not actually easy <laughs> it's not actually easy so let me give you a testimony on my linkedin i it's barely six months on linkedin but i have 1000 followers and still counting so what did i do i studied the algorithm of linkedin i know when to post 
I know how to come there. I know how to do my things there. It just takes determination. It takes determination. So I was determined to I was determined to be an influencer. And also you must have what you want in your heart. So I'll be bringing the Bible here because I'm a believer and I'm a Christian. Remember the time in the Torah of Babel? The people were about to build a Torah which height is supposed to reach heaven. And when God looked down from heaven, he, told, he saw, he said, if I don't do, I'm paraphrasing now, he said, if I don't do anything, these people will achieve what they want to do. So there's power in your mind. You must picture what you want to be in your mind. So lately, when I was doing this social media stuff, I would always say, I know I can be an influencer one day. I know I can be an influencer. Recently, I got to meet a leader, a top leader, a branch manager of a company and we got discussing he told me that oh he likes how i pose he likes this he likes this he just talk 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 so as i was about leaving he said okay we should take a photo together having taken that photo together we should he told me that okay i should use the photo to make a post about him and his company so why do you think he does that he have gone through my profile picture, he have gone through my writings, and he have seen that I'm actually an influencer there. So he have seen I'm actually an influencer. So that was why he did that. He did that because he knows that I'll be able to make his company sell. Because when a lot of people are viewing my content and see his company, they say, okay, Sorry about that. If this is coming from this influencer, Baba Tunde Shola, so I think it's genuine. So we have to engage this company. We have to engage this young man and stuff like that. So like I was saying, you must picture what you want to have in your heart. When you picture what you want to have on your heart, you find out that you will take steps to become what you want to become. So you see also, let me say this, the largest gathering that happened in the world was in a church setting that was in um what is it called now oh help me holy spirit so what is it called now all right when i know his name i'm going to talk about it so the largest garden of people it, it was in a church garden and the program was organized by um pastor benny Hinn. pastor benny Hinn. so the first day we had 3 million people seated. The second day had 3 million people. So in the space of two days, a total number of 6 million people present in a program. But now, technology has helped us. Technology has done more good than harm. It is true that many of us, many of the teenagers are using technology in a wrong way. But you can actually utilize this technological advancement in a good way. So now, you find out that most times, Churches would use the advantage of social media, would use the advantage of technology. Right from Lagos, you can actually publicize to the whole of the world. Right from here, I can send this, my podcast, to everywhere in the world. Everyone can listen. Why? Because technology advancement is very lucrative. Technological advancement is very lucrative. Have you wondered why? Young people are making money. The likes of Mark Zuckerberg, the likes of Elon Musk. So what do you think they are doing? It is called leverage. They are leveraging. They are leveraging. As it is now, Mark Zuckerberg is the youngest billionaire in the world. The youngest billionaire in the world. Why? Because he pictured what he wanted in his heart. I believe in the first five years of Facebook, he was not making any ends meet, but he was consistent about it. He made sure he learned his voice. He made sure that he put things in place to see that Facebook become lucrative. Now, everyone in the world, the population of the world is almost 8 billion people. It's a rough sketch now. The population of the world is almost 8 billion people, but almost those 8 billion people 6 billion people have Facebook on their device. 
in fact if you don't have facebook on your phone then <laughs> you are not current so it makes money out of if it's 40 percent it makes 40 percent out of the six billion people every day every day that's a whole lot this is how lucrative is lucrative this is my own definition of um and uh, leveraging how to leverage rather leveraging is saying no to graphification graphification at the moment so that your drops of blood will become a stream let me give you an example okay when coca-cola would come to nigeria it came under the um admi administration of the head of state which was um the then head of state of that time go on so when coca-cola would come they agree in attempts he told them that for every bottle that coca-cola sell in nigeria he's going to take one cobble out of it right he's going to take one cobble out of it so the first year coca-cola came to nigeria guess what coca-cola sold just five bottles coca-cola sold just five bottles <laughs> so in in general sense he just had to sell like um five kubo he sold five kubo but today coca-cola is selling every day the research has it that in nigeria alone coca-cola sell 40 million pair of bottles 40 million pair of bottles in a day you find out that when he started there wasn't enough of end meat but consistently it began to grow people began to engage wow coca-cola is a good product coca-cola is a good product you take coca-cola you feel good you take coca-cola you feel good so today coca-cola bottle in a day sells for 40 million people so every day an average percent of 40 million people is drinking coca-cola in nigeria so take for instance now 40 people taking one kubo is actually a whole lot of money go on is still alive right but his generation can never before be poor why because he brought coca-cola to nigeria and that is leverage he's making money so many of us are doing things uh, you find out that you are coming on the social media space you are engaging yourself you are posting but then people are not engaging you people are not it's as though you are just in the shadow of yourself i can understand i've once been there right i've once been there but i thank god for the people god brought to my space the encouragement how i study the algorithm of facebook have an algorithm twitter has an algorithm linkedin has an algorithm every of the social media space have an algorithm an algorithm is how things work on this particular space so it is one thing for you to study the algorithm of how things work on each social media space you are and you should look for a lucrative way you can lend your voice there look for a lucrative way you can end your voice well so i'll just be rounding up if you listen to this voice note well and you engage on everything that is here you find out that it might not just happen boom it might not just happen one year it might not just happen two years it might not just happen three years but consistently like i told you i joined linkedin september last year so when you check from september last year is almost six months seven months interval and i'm having 1k followers mine was so fast yours may not be like that depending on the grace of god available for us so with all this point i believe you following them you can be able to lend your voice on the social media space i believe you have a question i believe so many patients will be coming to your mind when i say i'm doing a podcast like this and i listen to your question i'm going to attend to them but let me give you an introduction of myself like i said before i start i am baba tunde shola you can follow me on facebook baba tunde shola you can follow me on twitter at ulua shola 58 you can follow me on linkedin so some of you that are on linkedin baba tunde shola you can use the at button baba tunde shola and then my number is okay zero nine zero 
30 45 08 35 so i just i was a student of federal polytechnic ida kogi state a discipline of metallurgical and materials engineering mme so i just rounded up the first phase of my education and as time goes on i will go to my second phase i would appreciate you engage my postcards i would appreciate your question i would appreciate your likes your comments your feedback so i want to know whether i did a great job thank you very much and i appreciate i would see you again but before i go let's just pray father in heaven we thank you for this podcast we give you all the glory for the miracle of sleeping and waking up we thank you for everything that you have been doing for our lives and our family jesus be glorified in the name of jesus we thank you for our families we thank you for our loved ones we thank you for this school we are we thank you for our businesses we thank you for every and anything in our life jesus be glorified in the name of jesus we ask for the mercy in any way we have sinned against you have mercy upon us cleanse us from every unrighteousness wash us thoroughly with the blood your son shed on the cross of calvary have mercy upon us in the name of jesus lord we pray that those our heart desires we bring them into realization in the name of jesus as many as of us that want to be an influencer on the social media space help us give us the right idea like unto bezale and uliab give us the creative thinking and the right idea in the mighty name of jesus amen and amen so thank you very much once again i appreciate you for listening i do not take this for granted thank you thank you thank you so i would want to see you again on my podcast I would want to see you listening. I would want to see you engaging. I just love you. I really appreciate each and every one. Thank you. But if you will need um, the writing of all this, if you need the writing for proper assimilation, if you need the writing, you can follow me on my WhatsApp or my LinkedIn account. Okay, particularly you can send me a message on WhatsApp. Like I dropped my phone number, but I'll be dropping it again. 090-3045-0835. You can send me a message there with the message reading. I listen to your podcast and I would want the material. I would want the material. So I will send you the material and I will appreciate if you read it and put them into consideration. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Thank you.